So how you know for fact that I am the Messiah is because I'm here to grant puny human time. Hmm. Time <laughs> being the most valuable commodity in existence. And, and, and unfortunately, and, go ahead, sir. Uh, and how do you grant us puny humans time? <laughs> My job is to tackle the big guys, as in government, mm. as in the biggest threat to human time, like nuclear reactor. So that's my job. My job is to put a stop to the immediate time threat, mm -hmm. okay, as the Messiah. The average puny human, the average puny human still has to open up their God connection. The average puny human still has to connect to God via instinct. And when you connect to God via instinct, you'll know it. And that takes, it took me 20 years. God's program of divine order is broken down into simple English for the average puny human to mm -hmm. co comprehend. So it might take the average puny human 10 years, but you don't even have 10 years if you're under threat of nuclear reactor, global warming, mm -hmm. different things that can steal our time and not even give us a chance to get to know God properly. Well, let me ask you something. Do you believe in the Bible? I do, of course. Is the Bible the Word? The Bible is the Word. Yes, it is. In fact, the Word. Then then help me understand something. According to the Bible, the Messiah would be born of a virgin. Was your mother a virgin? My mother was not a virgin, but neither was Mary. <laughs> How do we know that? <laughs> yeah, according to Isaiah 7.14 and Matthew 1.18, mm -hmm. Mary you know, the that he would be born, the Messiah would be born of a virgin. All right, you're saying that Mary wasn't a virgin. How do you know that? Because a human being cannot be born without chromosomes. But, you know, but we're saying, God does not make believe, you know. But we're saying that we we're saying that Christ, we're not talking about a, a human being here. We're talking about the Son of God. Now, if you believe in the Bible, then you would believe, I would imagine that if you believe in the Bible, you would believe that Christ was born of a virgin. Am I right or wrong? No. I mean, Christ, no one can be born of a virgin. Let me explain well, something. Wait a to second. You. Wait Bible a second here. Hold on here. Hold on here. Yes. How can you say that the Bible is wrong if I, and I asked you point blank, do you believe the in the Bible? Yes. Is the Bible the word? Yes. The Bible says that Jesus was born of a virgin and you're saying, no, he wasn't. What I'm saying to you, Mr. Con McConnell, is that the Bible is written in code. Oh, okay. So if that, if you believe, <clears throat> just, just, just hear me out. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest problems with Christianity or any traditional religion mm -hmm. is the, the belief in fantastic rhetoric over fact. And what I am here to tell you is you, there is... No way you can put fantastic rhetoric over fact. And once you begin to apply fact to the Bible, mm -hmm. you will be able to comprehend what those messengers were trying to tell you or trying to portray, which is God's word. OK, but if you don't, you know, if you don't adhere to facts, which are number based then you'll believe anything. All right, let me ask you this. Um, yes. Who was the messenger before you? There have been lots and there have been countless messengers. As a matter of fact, we all can pick up mm -hmm. God's messages. We're all physically designed to pick up his messages. His uh, messages have been around since earth formation. Okay, do you have any disciples? I don't have any disciples per se. God's army is led by God's elite mm. and God's elite are peacemaker leader. They are people who are trained to lead. So no one is necessarily mm. following me. I don't, you know, you know, worshiping me. I pray, please never do that because that would anger God. But what people need to comprehend is mm. there is only one way to get to God's future and it is through controlled human behavior. Uh -oh. Unfortunately, Christianity and other traditional religions allow human misbehavior. All right. Now, according to the Bible, and you've told me that you believe in the Bible and the, be and the Bible is the word, 
the sir. Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. Were you born in Bethlehem? I was born in Brooklyn. Okay, so <laughs> strike that one. I was um, born in Brooklyn again. Now, wait a sec. Hold on here. Hold on here. Mm-hmm. The Bible also states that the prophet, I'm sorry, the Messiah, would be mm-hmm. of King David's seed, and that's in Jeremiah 23, 5, and Luke 3, 23, and 31. So are you of King David's seed? I, I really don't know. Maybe if you do a genetic trace, I might mm-hmm. be. That's something I don't know. Okay, what let, let me ask, you, hold on here, let me ask you another question. Uh huh. Have you ever been to Jerusalem? I have been... Many places. No, 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 no. No, no. Hold on here. Hold on here. The the quest. You haven't been to Jerusalem. No, sir. Okay. And the Bible says, and you said you believe in the Bible, and the Bible is the word. That in Jeremiah nine nine, and in Luke nineteen thirty five to thirty seven, that the Messiah would enter Jerusalem on a colt. Okay. I need to stop you because you have to understand that you are reading a code. You know, in other words, the Bible is allegorically written. Mm -hmm. I can't go back and forth with you about something that on the surface tells you something and you're you're picking up that message. What I am telling you is that message, hold on. What I'm telling you is Mm -hmm. the the message in the Bible is multidimensional. A multidimensional. It is multidimensional, okay? And when I say multidimensional, I mean it has more than one meaning. So if you read the Bible and you get something Mm -hmm. out of it, that's great. All positive energy is acceptable. However, if you read the Bible and you don't get the path to God's future, then you need to comprehend that there are other things that you might not be aware of. Because, see, just the fact that you're aging lets me know that the way you read the Bible Mm -hmm. is not necessarily connecting you. Well, tell me, how old are you? Do you age? I'm aging, but I'm aging really slow. I'm 43. Well, you you look 43. Yeah, but my skin, Mm -hmm. you know, we're dealing with the chemicals in the air and okay. unwholesome food and water. Uh-huh. And yeah, my skin is aging, but my hair and my body is not. And I don't know how to, I'm still working on how to get my age, my skin to keep up with my hair and my body <laughs> and my health. But We've got to take our news break at the bottom of the hour. Stand by. Okay. XO Nation. My name is Rob McConnell. This is the XO, and we're coming to you from our broadcast center in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Send me your emails, exxon at exxonradiotv.com. I'll be back on the other side of this commercial break with the news as we continue here in the Exxon from our broadcast center in beautiful Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Whatever you do, don't go away. It's going to be interesting. Are you considering calling a psychic to read your situation? Then consider David Champion, a psychic medium for more than 20 years with thousands of readings under his belt. David Champion will make you feel comfortable. He has proven to be honest and accurate. He's a straight shooter. There's no guesswork. What he sees is what you get. While he is a medium, most of the calls focus on relationships. Not only love, but work, school, neighbors, and more. Need help with finding a job and preparing for the interview? Are you dealing with people who are obstacles in your path? For more information, go to davidchampion.com, $1.50 per minute, paid by credit card, with a minimum of 30 minutes. For your reading with David Champion, call 1-877-702-8598. That's 1-877-702-8598. Now you can dial in to listen to the Exxon Radio Show from anywhere in the world with Rob McConnell 24-7, 365 by dialing 213-401-0080. That's 213-401-0080. If you have a mobile phone or landline, the Exxon Radio Show with Rob McConnell is now at your beck and call at 213-401-0080. That's 213-401-0080, 24-7. 
365. Now you can dial in to listen to the Exxon Radio Show from anywhere in the world with Rob McConnell 24-7, 365 by dialing 213-401-0080. That's 213-401-0080. If you have a mobile phone or landline, the Exxon Radio Show with Rob McConnell is now at your beck and call at 213-401-0080. That's 213-401-0080, 24-7. 365. This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. Welcome back, everyone. Larissa Edwards is our special guest. She claims to be the Messiah. Hmm. Well, this is... I am uh, the Messiah. Prove it. I'm sorry. Prove it. (laughs) Prove it. Talk is cheap. Prove it. Well, sir, you're looking... For me to point my finger, maybe, and make something move? Is that what you're looking for? I'm looking for you to prove what you're saying. Sir, I am in the process of taking over this entire planet. And when I say that, Mm -hmm. I mean no one can defeat me. There is no one, not you, Mm -hmm. not anyone else, that has the exact path to God's future and time extension for puny human. Meaning, you can talk until you're blue in the face, Mm -hmm. and you will pass away at a nice, hopefully, nice old age of 90-something. On the other hand, I will not. How do we know that? How do you know that? You just have to sit. You have to be here. (laughs) And in order to be here, guess what? Your time has has got to be... Your time has got to be free. Mm Mm-hmm. To obtain. Right now, our time is ours to protect, and we are looking at extinction. So, wanting me to sing and dance, I might, I might not. Tell me about Elle's Kitchen. Elle's Kitchen is my gourmet cake line. That I, that's the business I had before I started working for God. So, let's see. The Messiah isn't a carpenter this time. He's a cake maker. Hey, (laughs) what's wrong with that? You see, let me tell you what the Messiah does, okay? (laughs) Please. What the Messiah does is the Messiah brings in permanent change. You can call it Armageddon. Mm -hmm. Somebody who's speaking another language but speak it, you know, call it something else. The Mayans called it something else. The whole point of the matter is there is no way we can accept the satanic programming that we're living under any longer. And you have to be able to calculate that you're living under satanic programming. You see, if I'm not here, you will. Con- if, if, if I didn't come and tell you that you are living under satanic programming right now, that's the reason why you're aging. That's the reason why children are dying. You would you would just you look at your social condition as normal. Adverse activity is considered normal under satanic programming. And I'm here to show you the way and obviously i'm needed Uh, tell me tell me about uh you know your book that only cost 999 dollars and 99 cents bs splitter divine order this book right here can you see it oh yeah we can divine order book of peace and happiness i'll tell you why it cost 999 dollars and 99 cents Mm -hmm. because it's free on twitter Okay, all volume. I'm in volume five right now. This first volume is the foundation of community and world peace. And it's about to go up to nineteen hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents once the next volume 
is published. Uh -huh. And it's all free on Twitter. 